Good day to you one and all. It is I, Justin Hawkins, and this is Justin Hawkins Rides Again, the podcast. Every week I'll be discussing a theme regarding the pitfalls of the music trade with my producer, Jenny May Finn, or an, uh, you know, an insightful guest from the music trade itself. Um, this week we are taking on uh, a mammoth topic, uh, the topic of the downfall. Downfall! <laughs> no, not that one. No. Downfall! Um, yeah, so myself and my producer Jenny May Finn get stuck into the topic of when artists fall from grace and their reputation is destroyed. Um, this is often referred to as being cancelled, but it's a little bit different to that. It's slightly more nuanced than uh, a cancellation. It's called downfall. Um, and it's a, it's a new thing that we've probably just invented. No, it's not. It's a thing that can happen. Um, Okay, this is an important disclaimer. Jenny May wants to note that during this conversation, she was playing a devil's advocate. So that means that a lot of the rhetoric that she was spouting certainly is no reflection whatsoever on her own opinions. She was just trying to probe me and prod me and test me, really, and prepare me for the um, for when they throw me to the wolves and I have to speak to journalizers that may indeed want to... Uh, trigger my downfall like you know it's basically it's media training or or our version of it um so anyway she wanted to apologize uh, if she comes across as being mean or insensitive she certainly isn't those things so go easy on her um just because she didn't go easy on me and i didn't want her to go easy on me anyway this is this is what it's all about it's about having to you know in that section of the conversation i think i was just trying to navigate my way through these very, very specific pitfalls. Um, and anyway, let me know what you think, um, not just of the topic, but whether whether I pass the test or whether you think I might be cancelled by the end of the episode. Um, you can also listen to this podcast on Spotify um, or Apple Podcasts, etc., if you want to do that, um, assuming that they haven't uh, cancelled me and, and expunged my very existence from the memory of collective memories. Um, anyway, all that remains is for me to say, please... To enjoy. Okay. We're going to have a lot of fun with this one. Um, today, as part of... Uh, today, it's called Justin Hawkins Rides Again, The Jaws of Victory, Pitfalls of the Music Trade, Downfall! And we're going to talk about people's downfalls. It's going to be absolutely great. Are you excited? I am. Justin Hawkins Rides Again. Did you notice that I've started putting this... Go. I totally didn't like uh, overly affected. I don't know why I'm doing it, honestly, because I've noticed it in myself and I'm trying to stop, but I just can't do it. Again. <laughs> We're going to talk about downfall <laughs> today. <laughs> um... Because I mean, part of it's, I suppose that's going to that's going to bring in subjects like the takedown, um, the fall from grace. What are the other ones you can do? The um, the disappearance. The disappearance. The s the reluctant uh, tumbler. <laughs> so someone who's been pushed down, but they're trying to scrabble back up. <laughs> no, no, they're they're scrabbling as they go down. Yeah, that's what, yeah. You, they're yeah. not trying to get back up again. We're talking about downfall. Not to go <laughs> <laughs> We're talking about the downfall. We're not talking about. But what? It, yeah, up. on their way down, they're scrabbling up, right? They're reluctantly going down. Enough about my sex life. Do you ever feel like you had a downfall? Um, yeah, there was a moment there when um, I thought, "Why the fuck am I bothering with this?" You know, um, when everything was really hard and nobody was interested, and the only thing they were interested in was hitting me with a stick, <laughs> the proverbial stick, anyway. You know, do you, do you I, that was definitely a downfall, wasn't it? Was I being reluctant about it? There, I think I was. Resi no. I, I was a resig. Resi it was a downfall. It was a tumble down of resignation. Yeah, I don't think I this like, episode is just reluctancy. Yeah. Okay. Sorry. Downfall. No, you I just thought we. Were, to... I'm interested in the idea of the reluctant tumbler. <laughs> um, who keeps popping back up again, regardless of what happens? Yeah, they're just like whatever. Isn't mm. there some people that are like that person can never get cancelled? Well, that's um, Ricky Gervais. Matt, Matty Healy. Oh yeah, and Ricky Gervais. Ricky Gervais is less of a musician, though. I think he is. Oh, he was yeah, in no, bands and stuff, you know. But as a celebrity, they tried. To well, he never does tumble downs, though, does he? He's always on top. 
But yeah, but they're like, it says the worst thing in the world. And he's like, whatever. Hmm. Do you think that, so do you think that he's like the ultimate reluctant tumbler where he won't allow anybody to push him off the side in the first place? Yeah, it's impossible to cancel him, isn't it? Yeah. And he says, does say all the th- But tumbling down isn't just about cancellation, though. Cancellation is only a modern way of uh, yeah. destroying a person's career, isn't it? Yeah. Well, like James Corden was that other example. Yeah, I love this story. T- tell me what happened. I'd well, he was getting, he was being, uh, he's been known for being rude to waiting staff. Yeah, he's in a restaurant, and I think he's there's no being, need for that. Being is there? really rude to some way stuff. I don't know if the chef or the owner asked him to leave, but they did put a post on Instagram: the chef or the owner. The owner could be the chef, um, right. saying how bad he treated his waiting staff <clears> and that he shouldn't get away with being <throat> like that. And uh, what was said? I think he's just being really snappy and calling people over and being like, "That's not our order, and you should get us this or get us a you know you know the way you picture people in like cartoons ordering." <laughs> Oh god! Snappity snap snap type. Saying of thing. things like "garçon." Yeah, and being like, "Get us a, our next round now," and like not like, "Hey, hey," you know, everyone's doing the awkward trying to catch the eye thing. Yeah, Do you, and asking always asking permission from a wait, waiting person. Can you have something? The way you ask them, and so you ask them a favor sometimes. Yeah. Like, can I? Could I please have a fork? Well, of course you're going to have a fork. Well. If there are any forks available, there should be it's in that a moment. Yeah, well, there ought to be. Yeah, that's true. Anyway, he, he was told off. He was got in trouble for that, and his reputation is definitely. So, what was the um, restaurant? Um, I don't know. I look at him. Uh, Poor James. James Corden. <laughs> <laughs> Poor James Corden. He's been banned from a New York restaurant, Balthazar, for treating Balthazar. Staff. Staff poorly. That sounds all right, doesn't it? it? Has now admitted that he made a rude, rude comment to one oh. of its waiters. Oh, so he admitted it. Yeah, which you said is the downfall. That is the downfall. That's when the downfall starts. And I'll give you two examples of that. Okay. Here's an example. Um, Michael Jackson. <laughs> we're back at Michael <laughs> all roads lead back to Michael Jackson when you're talking about things like downfall art versus artist anything like that Michael Jackson accused of doing some really quite terrible things to people who aren't of an age to even consider the things as options right and he vehemently denies it appoints a highly paid legal team to defend him pays them for to be silent and casts enough doubt on the issue to basically live out the rest of his days in abject liberty and people still listen to his music no perceptible downfall I mean obviously it tarnished his reputation but he still sells probably still sells millions of records even after he died so no downfall because denial yeah do you think that's true? yeah I mean if he said yeah that would be the end of it wouldn't it? Like he would have said, if it had said, oh, yeah, you know what? I've got a sex dungeon. Please, please don't take this <laughs> clip out of context. <laughs> there is a sex dungeon and I've done a lot of really inappropriate stuff uh, with people who aren't old enough to, you know, and that's, that's my bad. This is Nobody it. would ever listen to his music ever again. No. And rightly so. Yeah. It'd be a shame for so Rod James Temperton. Gordon it'd be a shame for, like- it'd be a shame for Quincy Jones. And the people that worked on that material, but it would be over. So you think James should have been like, don't know what you're talking about? Or, but there's another problem, isn't there? Because there's, if you talk about J.K. Rowling, she's a double downer. Yeah. So I think if you think about like um, Michael Jackson, he was drawn on those subjects. Was it by Oprah Winfrey or someone like that? Was, Was he? I think he was, maybe he wasn't successfully drawn on him, but, but he only did a couple of interviews after all this mm-hmm. stuff happened. And like, um, he was always sort of um, doing some distracting techniques by going, and doing all that sort of stuff, you know, in the middle of the interview. Do you did remember he, that stuff? Did he do that stuff in the middle of the interview? Yeah, he was doing that stuff in the middle of an interview. That's distracting. And it's kind that of... It feels like it's a bit of a tell. It, I, I would love to play poker. I'd, I'd have Neverland off him in a, in a couple of hours, probably. But um, yeah, I think uh, I think we can't w- say yes in some a situation like that. No, that's how true. could you ever say yes? 
You just because you if you've already done something so bad, why would you admit to it? Mm. Like if you were a horrible person, you were doing horrible things. They can't then go. I can't believe he's such a liar. I'm like, look at all the things you you can't believe he's a liar. I mean, he he manoeuvred in <laughs> he, he he manoeuvred really effectively in legal ways to dodge it, um, refused to be drawn on it, and deflected, distracted, and basically was never brought to justice. <laughs> was never um, deemed. Uh, guilty was he yeah not conclusively anyway but isn't there some things that stick yeah but i mean i think then there's a lot of jokes and a lot of euphemism and stuff like that and downfall in certain areas of the court of public opinion but people still bought the records i think his music career would have been completely over if he'd have admitted it and i think he knew that as well do you think you ever have to own stuff and then you get away with it rather than deny it? Well, if you own it and double down it, you do a you do a J.K. Rowling where you completely, completely isolate and alienate um, the group that you're alleged to have offended in the first place. Whereas I think the only way you can really do those things and survive is to just ignore. But do you ever worry when you're an artist that you might get make a misstep? There's a misstep, and then there's doing something completely abhorrent. But isn't it? I think I think J.K. Rowling's a misstep because it's an opinion that she holds that's um, subject to some controversy, um, and you immediately lose half of the people concerned with that debate if you express any sort of opinion. And, and if you're like a novelist or an artist or a songwriter or anything like that, why would you do that to your audience? Dolly Parton wouldn't do it. Oh yeah, Dolly Parton doesn't say who she votes for. Mm. So she can't be taken down politically. Mm. Let's talk about disappearance. Like I remember there was um, somebody that was um, working at um, the, the record ca- company that we were signed to. And then one day, he just wasn't there anymore. And it's like, well, where, did, where did he go? You know, what, he, he, he's usually in that chair, isn't he? Like, uh, yeah, he's, he doesn't work with us anymore. Gone. Forgotten. And then after sort of months of asking around, not solidly, but didn't really care, but he got a bit touchy-feely. Yeah. Gone. No warnings. Gone. It's the music trade. You can't be touchy-feely in the music trade. When people say you can. Yeah. I'm, as I was saying that, it didn't sound like <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so Gone. There's a band that assaulted the lead singer of Starcrawler. Oh, what were they called again? I don't know, because I didn't want to know who they were. Yeah, I don't think I do. They did it on tour when they were supporting them. And well, what did they do? They locked her they, in her, in their dressing room, and uh, the lead singer of the other band assaulted her while the Jeez. guitarist filmed it, and the rest of them laughed. And the her guitarist was banging on the door trying to get into... <clears throat> <clears throat> I like that guitarist that she's got. Yeah, there. he was trying to get in to save her, basically. Mm. And then she posted it, and I think he admitted it on social media as well. Gone. I don't know if they're gone. Gone, they must be gone. They should be gone. Is there a button on here that would be suitable for downfall? <laughs> <laughs> no, do that story again. So That's um, such a horror. <laughs> no, you can just cut it in. <laughs> no, sorry, uh, arrow, arrow, arrow. Arrow de Wild. Arrow de Wild. Do I have to say the whole story again? Yeah, do the whole story. Was assaulted by this band that she was touring with. And we don't know the name of the band because we well, do I not forgot. care to yeah. s- state their name. They don't deserve any of the um, promotion. Yeah. But they should be shamed as well. So how do we do that? You no, know I can go find it. Should we say what it rhymes with? Hold on. They're called The Growlers. which is terrible name for a band. And terrible people, by the sounds of it. And the band took full responsibility. So t- say the story. So she was locked in the... She was locked. Uh, she was in her dressing room. And then the growlers came in and they locked the door and the singer assaulted her. And I think one of the other bandmates filmed it and they were all just standing around, like, I guess, <sighs> taking the piss. And then her guitarist was banging on the door trying to Who get Who I like. He's a really cool guy. Yeah. And then she was like, said it. So she was brave enough to come out and say it because mm. when you get assaulted as a woman in the music industry and you say something against someone else, they'll be like, well, I don't want to work with her because she's spreading lies about it. Yeah, it, it could everyone. be her downfall, actually, couldn't it? Yeah, so you take a risk when you say, accuse yeah. someone of something. 
And then the band came in and was like, actually, yeah. But then... Uh, then they, they, so they admitted it? Yeah. And then downfall? Do you want me to check their Instagram and see if they're posting still? Okay, tell me how many followers they have on Instagram. Let's see. They have 239,000 followers. So that's, that's quite a lot. That's too many. Um, I don't know. It won't tell me how many, when their last post was. Because that would prove that they're still doing stuff. But then how could you ever go to a, a live show of theirs knowing what he'd done? Um, the last post was last December of last year. Is that a good moment to use that sound? Yeah, but you should have shared it down for. Down for! <laughs> um, whereas Michael Jackson, no downfall! Any good? It's a bit Neverlandy. Well, that's. Yeah. Not that one. Okay, don't worry about it. So they must. They must be gone, right? Gone. Gone. <laughs> no. I want to help you. Yeah, gone. So people can. Yeah, well, that was a rightful downfall. Your rightful downfall. <laughs> 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 that's your basic rightful downfall uh, yeah well you know what I mean that's not even mm. a downfall that's a righteous downfall yeah is that a downfall or is it because James Corden is just people not liking his personality yeah but I mean, is, you said that there was some calls for, to have him stripped of his status as the late night man that does talking right well I don't think people yeah so he, he was caught t doing uh, ripping off a Ricky Gervais joke oh that was a different matter and the, so tell me again what was the joke I don't know what the joke actually was. Okay. But he ripped off... Did he admit to ripping Well, off? some people on Twitter were like, hey, Ricky Gervais, does this sound familiar? They ripped a clip of James Corden doing it. And then Ricky Gervais retweeted it, just saying, nice joke. And then James Corden realised yeah. um, that it was Ricky Gervais' joke from one of his biggest Netflix specials. And then he apologised and said he didn't know it was a Ricky Gervais' joke. And Ricky Gervais did say he doesn't think James Corden did it deliberately and that someone in his writing room must have... Stolen it or stitched him up. Mm. So now, da no downfall. No, just another chip in the downfall. So just one of these. Yeah. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> he gets loads of maps. Yeah. <laughs> James Corden just keeps getting maps. I want to see how long I can hold it before it goes into the next. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> James like, Corden gone yeah. well he's not gone <laughs> <laughs> gone <laughs> oh, still there so, so he nearly fell he nearly partial fell. downfall <laughs> <laughs> we've established that now I think <laughs> partial downfall <laughs> what happens if I do that partial downfall <laughs> What? <laughs> Sorry, I was trying to do an echo. You've <laughs> <laughs> had a lot of experience in the uh, music studio. So. But remember when I did your media training with you? Yeah, yeah. That's to prevent downfall, isn't it? Yeah, I think because, you know, before I haven't really been in the uh, public eye and it was when I when I was obliged to do a, a press junket for the um, masked singer after I was demasked, degloved. Yeah. And um so you were preparing me, weren't you, for the uh, Yeah. For all the shit. But you questions. hadn't got media training prior to that. I'd never had it before, no. Which is weird. Do you think that oh you reckon media training could s prevent uh, partial downfall? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think that's what it's des specifically designed for. Yeah. So you don't end up saying something stupid. Okay, to try and trap me in a downfall. Let's see if I can wriggle out of it. Are trans women real women? <laughs> Straight in with the one that's guaranteed. <laughs> <laughs> if I answer this in any, in any affirmative or or positive, I'm gone. Yes. Half of the half of the um, my enthusiast collection gone. Yeah. While you're at it, why don't you ask me which direction I like to vote in? Uh, what do you? What way do you like to vote? Are you a Labour fan? Now, if I say I don't vote, that's S that makes me look like a f***ing idiot. If I say 
Doesn't it? Yes. But it does. It does. Yeah. So, so some people say it's the non compliance with the two party structure and that Well then not vote for the third one if you think Well, you know, they're just saying there's no one worth voting for, so why do you give your vote anyway? Well, I've always thought that politicians are not our best people. I think like smart the smartest people I don't aspire to do that job. But they're just supposed to be administrative people. Uh, they're just admin people. You're shouting into the microphone. I've never heard you this angry before. <laughs> Politicians are administrators. Yeah. That's what you should get some people who are really good at Excel to run the country. Mm-hmm. That's what you need, right? Uh, I guess so, because then it's like a, then it would be like a, Excel is a spreadsheet program. Yeah, but some people are masters of it. Well, like you're I'm talking about Todd, aren't you? Yeah, and other people. There's loads of tricks. I can't do it. Okay, well, I think we're getting <laughs> we're going down a tributary <laughs> named Excel. I'm just saying, get the people who are good at planning stuff to plan mm. stuff. Don't get the people who have yeah, the people who have like um, a superficial charm and are able to sort of repeat the party line in in media yeah. conferences and so on. They should just be like the people the Excel people hire for when they need them. Mm, the mouthpieces. Yeah. But they are though, aren't they? Yeah, but they get given too much power. And money. Yeah. In fact, not enough money to make it attractive for the people who are actually capable. Yeah, I guess so. You know. Anyway. Yeah. So who did you vote for in the last... Who are you going to vote for in the upcoming election? You're in America. I'm in America? Last year. Okay. The year before. Yeah. Biden or Trump? Well, I like to think of it more as the Rolling Stones versus the Beatles. Really? Yeah. I mean, the Stones, obviously. Are you a woke bastard? A what? Are you a woke bastard? Am I a woke bastard? Yeah. (laughs) One of those hippie woke people. Are you gay? Yeah, a little (laughs) bit. Yeah, sometimes. What? So you just, you're one of those? Well, yeah. Sickening. Yeah, so you're going to vote for Trump? You want to kill children in cages? What the fuck? Why are the children in the you cages? You like walls? Um, you hate people of colour? <laughs> definitely not. I love people of colour. <laughs> I, I, I hate calling them that though. That's <laughs> I don't know what you're supposed to say. Yeah. People of colour. They sort of shorten it to POC, don't they? Do they? Yeah. It's like, what are we coming to? So, which one? Um, I don't, I don't live in America. I wouldn't like to have to vote in a, in a country like that, which is so diverse and has so many contrasting cultures, even within its own. Are you not going to use your platform to save the world? Um, I'm trying to, yeah, one step at a time. Charity begins at home though. So you'd be happy if Trump got in? And it'd be your fault if you didn't tell people to vote for Biden. I'm concerned about um, the options available to us. Um, I would hate to vote for somebody that, that that rolls back on environmental policies that, that I think are, are, are giving us some sort of hope. Have I failed this? Am I down? Am no, I you're doing down? good. Am I? But I don't know if I want to put it in because it sounds like I keep spouting all the stuff. No, but you're doing devil's advocate. This is media training. This is really interesting stuff, I think. Okay. Let's keep going. Hit me. I feel like it's dangerous territory. Not for me. Maybe for me, though. Why? Because I'm trying to be both sides. That is what you're doing. You're playing a role. Okay. You're doing a great job. Takes ovaries to do that. I'm down for! <laughs> <laughs> no, that was a joke, though. I'm allowed to do that. It's gone. <laughs> down is a great game. Keep going. Um, should women uh, serve in the armed forces are they not weaker than everyone else? Um, not talking about strategic stuff where they're flying drones and the uh, police officers absolutely they should why um, well I'll give you the, a well trained woman is effective and as lethal and as brilliant as, as a well trained man what if a man comes up and then just like smacks her in the face and sits on her <laughs> what was Fuck. That's not Would, how. If you if you're being attacked by three burly men and they call the police and a woman comes, would you be happy? I mean, or depends. would you want? It the depends man to on come? depends on the depends on the woman and the training. 
Would you would you prefer? In the man? same way that if it's a man, it depends on the man and the training. They send some morbidly obese bloke who can't even get out of the car without look, if you're looking out of breath, and then the car does that after he gets out. He stumbles along towards him, um, farts a couple of times, and falls over, <laughs> clutching his heart. <laughs> That's what might happen, you know. Uh, you send a send a woman who disarms them with. Uh, Finesse and guile. You're talking about like burly individuals who, I don't know. I think I think a woman's perfectly capable of doing that job. Some people think that the tests have come down because of women. Some people think they well they have they've dropped. I'm quoting another right wing. All right, but it's not about what they think, though, is it? Who cares what people think? Like because you're talking about faith and belief and well, no, it's based on paranoia a lot of the time. Like people can't say things like that. What's the evidence to suggest that women aren't as good at doing police work or being in the forces as as men? I don't have any of these statistics because this is an off the cuff conversation. I know. So, <laughs> well, I would like to see. I would like to just, to, you know, in a conversation like that, it probably is going to be fueled by some sort of off the cuff well, know, trying to catch me out and, and prove me to be in opposition to their beliefs, right? Yeah, well, they, there's one YouTube channel in particular and they are very stats-heavy, so they sit and they interview mm. university campus students, which I feel like is slightly unfair because you've come in with a whole barrage of statistics and you can frame your statistics however way you want mm. because there's probably other statistics available too. There's always multiple versions of statistics available. It depends on who's paid for the... Uh yeah. study to be done so in the they said place. that like the test to get into the marines is lower now because it had to accommodate women so that means that the standard of the marines has dropped in order to have but which women. tests which like the physical tests so women can't do as many can't lift as heavy some women can some women can lift heavier than some men well what do you need to lift to be in the marines then what's what's what was yeah, no, it like lifting up? objects falling in the way or uh, usually it's probably your but isn't like lifting colleague. lifting is more about leverage uh, and you know, logic than it is strength. <laughs> you know, obviously strength comes into it, yeah. but you don't necessarily want to be a massive, like, actual Olympic weightlifter to to be in the forces. You got to carry all that weight around. Like muscles is just as difficult to carry as the equivalent in lead, isn't it? I guess so. You know I mean, just, it's harder to it's harder to maintain a physique like that. You have to carry more supplies around to keep those muscles going. The muscles themselves are heavy. You're not going to have the same stamina as somebody with a physique like mine, for example. Um, I would imagine. I'm not a doctor. But is that, do you think there's any truth in that? Maybe, yeah. Hmm. I don't know. They just think like... I, it's, so the Ukrainian... One of my friends is in the armed forces in America, and she's f***ing ridiculous. Like, I wouldn't want to have a fight with her. Well, no, because you're not in the armed forces. No, but I am like a martial artist. Could do my kung fu, wouldn't I? Mm. Maybe. Just saying. And then some of the kids at my school, um, some of the guys that ended up joining the army were f***ing dipshits. Yeah. And I wouldn't be scared of them at all. I'd just tap them on the shoulder and then look around like that and I'll just run off. You know what I mean? Like that's the kind of I don't know. The standards have changed, but I wouldn't necessarily say they've gone down. I think they're talking about the physical test. Oh, I see. But you know, all right. Well, I think it's good if it can be more inclusive. I mean, who cares how much they can lift up? I'd rather have people with strategic, brilliant minds, pert, nubile young bodies. No. <laughs> I'm just get oh downfall. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it! The mask slipped at the last moment. Gross. You know what I mean, though. No. no. I think I was doing all right there. I, I actually believe that. I don't think you don't have to be a man to be a soldier. That's ridiculous. Well, yeah, the Ukrainian women did quite well, didn't they? I don't know. I wasn't paying attention. Downfall! <laughs> <laughs> You're making me ask all these horrible questions. It makes me feel icky inside. Yeah, it's brilliant. I feel icky. This is your downfall. Yeah, everyone's gonna. Clip me saying all these horrible things. Please don't clip this out of context. Now, Jenny May is only playing devil's advocate to try and get a rise out of me and prompt my downfall. This is what would happen if I was being aggressively interviewed, isn't it? 
Yeah, I guess so. No, it's important to me, I think, because I, I just really want to try and... I, know, I want to know what it's supposed to say. What's, what's ex- I mean, all the things I just said are, are honest. I think it's like... I think you need to say, why are you asking me this? Just ask me about my music. Oh, God, try again and Go again. Who are you voting for in the upcoming election? Um, I vote that we stop talking about politics and move on to the subject of music. Yeah. Then what would you say then if I said that? Politics is everything. Politics is not everything. Everything is political. If you don't think it isn't, then you're wrong and ignorant. Um, The people who get in charge decide things like whether or not you can tour in Europe. uh, Yeah, okay. Well, then there are some political stuff that's affected my my existence and my living. And I have to say that um, it would have been nice if um, some kind of... um, Negotiations have taken place to help touring entities and the touring arts whilst overseas. But that hasn't happened, and it is what it is. Did you cheat on your wife? Did I cheat on my wife? We have footage. <laughs> oh, do you? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> Get it out of there. I'd love, to, love for people to see that. Um, from where? Taken from where? From uh, a, cl- a source close to your wife. <laughs> 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 and now I know who you're talking about. She's fing <laughs> nuts that one. I'd say, Oh, tell for! <laughs> um, Are you someone that. Oh, um, the, the, the exact nature of my wife and I's um, <clears throat> relationship and, and the agreements that we have um, are nothing whatsoever to do with my um, purpose <laughs> to, in the context of this interview. Like, like you say, like, um, uh, my. My wife and I have an, a semi-open marriage. Um, what you consider to be cheating might not be in line with what we consider to be cheating. We have a quote from your wife here. <laughs> Go on, read the quote, please. He's a fucking bastard. <laughs> she, she always says that when she's feeling frisky. <laughs> oh! <laughs> <laughs> what do they say? Chance to be a fine thing. <laughs> Downfall, oh no! <laughs> what do they say on this morning and stuff like, aren't you a... Sh- do you not have any respect for women? <laughs> <laughs> I have nothing but the utmost respect for women. I'm always surrounded by talented women. Always. Then why female management, female tour management. Is that just blah, a mask? Blah, blah. Smoke screen. Are you sleeping with all those people? Well, I'm not on and off. Oh, no, downfall! <laughs> <laughs> Do you think you'd be a terrible role model for the young people listening to music if, as they see you cheating on your wife and having affairs with multiple women? I think role models um, are the people who we have elected to represent us in, our, in the various constituents of our sweet nation. I'm a f***ing rock star. I'm not supposed to be a role model. If you're looking to me for guidance on how to raise your children, you've got to fucking come up short, mate. Oh, no, downfall! No, but it's the child that sees you as a role model. You seem to think it's the parent that chooses a role model. Oh, okay. Right. It's Who's the child that chooses Oh, okay, it. does it? Right. Oh, yeah. I'm a fucking amazing role model. You want to live your life all boring and uh, cowed and with like a, I don't know, like a grey-skinned geography teacher from the 1700s? That noise, come and be a rock star like me. You'll love it, kids. Honestly, it's the best way to live. Best job in the world, except for blowjob tester. Oh, no! <laughs> Downfall! <laughs> would you want your son to be like you if you had a son? Um, I would like Justin Hawkins Jr. to basically just live in the moment, you know, just enjoy his sports, uh, get plenty of exercise, sleep with as many women as possible. Oh, no! Downfall! <laughs> I don't know, this is easy. I don't, I'm, I'm deliberately downfalling. <laughs> yeah, but you can't do that on the TV. You won't have your buzzer. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what if I take a buzzer and I'm just like downfall, downfall? Then yeah, they'll, they'll you can't probably just find go, it. Oh no, downfall! <laughs> no, okay. Like, do ask me the son question again. If you had a son, would you be uh, happy for him to behave in the way that you do? Yeah, I think um, I try and make every interaction with my children fun. You know, I like to live in the moment and be the best dad I can be. If some of that rubs off on them and then they treat their children in the same way, I'm going to be really proud of them. Yeah. But what if they see the stories of you having multiple affairs with women and treating them not so perfectly? Well, those stories don't exist because that's just not something that's ever happened. What about the story we're holding up here on the front page? (laughs) 
The front, nobody reads newspapers anymore, mate. <laughs> <right? laughs> I wouldn't worry too much. Tomorrow's chip paper. Oh, no! <laughs> Actually, no, that's fair enough. I rescind that. Uh, yeah, that's not downfall. Go ahead. You were caught snorting a line of coke mm-hmm. off prostitute's fart. Off <laughs> <laughs> a prostitute's fart? Forehead. <laughs> <laughs> that's like a, that's a real roller coaster ride. That is <laughs> mm, delicious coke and the smell of shit. <laughs> of a pro- I, I snorted a line of coke of a prostitute's forehead. Well, first of all, I had no I idea knew. that that lady was um, a um, sex worker. And I, to be honest with you, why, why was she why? naked? I just thought In a bar. Was, it was warm. It was a hot day. <laughs> it was a hot day, and. I don't know why you demonise sex workers like that. They're people just like you and me. They're out there trying to earn a crust. And I saw a, a, a res, some residue and powder on her forehead and I was just helping her but to, because she hadn't collected her thoughts enough to actually dress herself properly and I was concerned for her really just because I didn't want her to go to the bar. It takes a friend to tell you, doesn't it? And, um, and then I... Um, <clears throat> Breathed in sharply, and next thing you know, it's not there anymore. I don't think you can accuse me of, of of doing anything malicious, or I was just trying to help a person out. Would you be happy to do a, a lie detector test today on Jeremy Kyle? Actually, yeah, <laughs> yeah. How does it work again? Is it, is it your is it your pulse? They yeah. put it around you, like all of you. So your heart rate goes down when you're not lying. No, I think there's just a deviation. Hmm. So if I can maintain... I know that your your heart rate's basically non-existent, but... Hey! Vampire. Go on. Yeah. Yeah, I'll do it, yeah. And a drugs test. <laughs> <laughs> Did you spend £150,000 on cocaine? Well, who keeps track of that? I mean, you know, money's money, isn't it? So. What about with people not being able to heat their houses? Yeah, I think I haven't actually used any drugs or alcohol <laughs> for the last 16 <laughs> years and 16 years ago I there wasn't a war in the Ukraine or well, if there was it wasn't the one that affected the oil prices in the way that this one has so you don't feel bad um <clears throat> I feel frustrated with having to answer that question all the time it feels like that's something that's uh, why is it a t- touch the nerve no it's just boring to you me shamed yourself. Like, mm, yeah a little bit yeah but that's how you learn, isn't it? You, you shame and you know regrets. These are how you sort of form new pathways of of behaviour, and that's why I've been sober for the last sixteen years. Sixteen years. Wouldn't how have. do you feel about asking the same question again after sixteen years? Never heard this question before. You haven't. No. Have you ever done any homework on me at all? Any research? Who are you? You're nobody. <laughs> I think that says more about you than it does me, love. <laughs> Go on. Keep going. I feel like you're getting angry now. No, it's just good. Your I'm body joking. language is doing this thing. No, I'm not liking it. This is good. I don't know if you can see my face still, can you? I don't know. Have I sat in a yeah, funny angle? I don't know. You've got, you've got into it as well, I think. You're all right. You can see it. Can you? Did I sit weird? Careful, that's a new microphone. That's it. Go on. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Good. Let's do it. Do I still have to ask these horrible questions? Yeah, I've only got four minutes to go. You can do it. Do you feel uncomfortable with the disparity between the rich and poor? Do you feel like you need to be doing something to help? Yeah, actually, I think that the the super rich, the people that are making, I don't think we need billionaires. What's the point of those? There should be a limit on how much you can make. That's Marxist bullshit. Are you some sort of hippie? Well, if that's what that means. They work hard. They did work hard, yeah, but there's people who work hard who have absolutely nothing, can't even afford to heat their houses. There's people who worked hard their whole lives and they're now in retirement sitting there wondering if they should eat or heat their house. Well, if they'd come up with Tesla, they could have become billionaires. Yeah, but there's only one or two people in the world that can come up with Tesla. What I'm asking you is, what would you need a billion pounds for as an individual, an an individual human being? What do you need a billion pounds for? To make new innovations and pay for your staff. But that's your company you're talking about. What about your personal wealth? What do you need that for? Well, I, they put most of their money into their businesses, don't they? No, no. Jeff Bezos' his wife made one hundred and forty-seven billion or something like that from the divorce. That's not his business. That's that's. Did they not get any of his business? 
Well, even if she did, that's not she didn't get it to go into her business. That's her money. She's got 147. So forget about Jeff Bezos for a minute. What about her? She's got 147 billion pounds. Should what's she going to do with that? Do you think she should take money people's money away from them? I think they should take all the money away from them, apart from leaving with just under a billion, because that's a f- more money than they'll ever need. But why would they bother to innovate and keep working if you're just going to take their money from them? Because a billion is enough money, according to you. According to anybody in the world, how much more money do you need? What but that you need goes against free, like people's free liberty. I just don't think that a billion is a, is a meaningful number. You don't need it. They think it'll be a slippery slope and they come down and take your money. If I had a billion pounds, or if I had more than a billion pounds, if I had 10 billion pounds, take nine of them, it won't make any difference to my life. Seriously. But as a conservative, I think that you are entitled to your own money. I am. I'm not saying all of it. I'm saying... But you're entitled to all of it, I believe. There shouldn't be billionaires. It shouldn't be allowed. But how do you cap that? Why would it? Why would you, they? You tax everything over nine hundred and ninety-nine, whatever the number would be. Million. Well, you catch. Let, let's say you're allowed one penny under a billion. Everything else, you have to give uh, to the government, and the government is obliged, as is their job, to protect the vulnerable people. Of so you trust the your state. government? I don't trust my government. <clears throat> no. I don't either, but I think in principle that's what should happen. I don't trust billionaires, I don't trust governments, I don't trust anything. People are going to call you a woke hippie now. I don't know if I care. Marxist. I don't know if I care. Socialist scum. I don't know if I care. (laughs) I just don't know if I care. I actually believe those things and I think it's true. So up until that, you think everyone's okay with their money? I think... We're only talking about, like, like the top 1% is 150. What sort of percentage has a billion or more? I don't, I'm not sure. Like 0.00001 Let or something, right? Let me Google how many billionaires are. <clears throat> no, Google what percentage of the population are billionaires. Well, there are nearly 8 billion people in the world. Just over 3,000 are billionaires. This tiny group of people is worth nearly $11.8 trillion, equivalent to 11.8% of the global GDP. And these are individuals we're talking about, not but not companies. Yeah. Like I don't think Tesla is is Elon Musk and only Elon Musk. You know what I mean? Yeah. There's a board and directors and so on, but his think pers- his personal wealth is is probably going to be billions, right? It's like not point zero 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 three or something, right? Of the world. So we're only talking about that amount of people who would end up sort of having to make a sacrifice if that was the case but I just don't think that anybody needs to um, have a billion pounds What about the corporation should they be paying tax since Apple doesn't really pay any tax Yeah they should be paying tax Of course they should Why doesn't Apple pay tax? They pay almost no tax Why? They just get away with it Companies have tax breaks for them in order to promote innovation If it's a certain type of company in a certain part of the world right because they, they want to bring that kind of work and have that kind of workforce in there in that region that's why that's how it works in switzerland there's certain there's certain like tech companies get tax breaks in certain cantons dentists get certain tax breaks in other cantons it's just what it's like you know oh amazon's main uk division paid no corporation tax in 2021 <coughs> despite profits rocketing to 60 percent to 204 million the online retailer used the former chancellor and now Tory leadership hope Rishi Shunak to get a super deduction scheme for the business to invest in infrastructure. So he's now the Prime Minister. <laughs> well, you said yourself, uh, UK's f- anyway, isn't it? Well, they're not getting any money from the companies, so mm. why wouldn't you take the money from Amazon to, like, grit yeah, the roads? But, you know, they need to work on the infrastructure of Amazon, don't they? Not the infrastructure of the UK. Well, one step at a time. You've got to pick your battle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We've got too political now. Well, that was fun, wasn't it? Not political anyway, it's just Marxism. <laughs> I don't... Yeah. Because I'm worried I'm spouting the wrong stuff. Like, I'm just trying to find sound bites that I've heard. You're not. You're just trying to make me... You're trying to get me to dodge the downfall. I think I haven't pressed that button for a while. I feel, I feel yeah. pretty good about how I've played it. Yeah, you're good at that. 
You think? I think so, yeah. Keep trying. Can, let's get one more downfall and then we'll end it. Should people listen to your music anymore because of your past? <laughs> I don't understand what my past has to do with my music. Didn't it inform some of it? In what way? Were you taking drugs when you wrote your music? No, I was taking drugs in between writing music. You don't, you can't write, you can't <laughs> write music when you're on drugs. <laughs> All you do is like, oh, my drugs like this. Oh, it's brilliant. Do you think parents should be listen, letting their kids listen to music? By yeah, someone? I think they should. They shouldn't be censoring their children. I listened to Queen, ACDC, Fleetwood Mac when I grew up. Never did me any harm. <laughs> <laughs> I, ended, I ended up in rehab, so, you know, you do, oh, wait. Down <laughs> <laughs> No, keep going. No, one more, one more. Um, um, sh- oh, yeah. uh, should you be ashamed of yourself for wearing katsus on stage? <laughs> <laughs> I shouldn't feel ashamed for anything that I wear. Even if I decided to wear a dress, which you might find abhorrent, or if I wore flip-flops and then a fur coat. I mean, obviously, fur coat, I think I probably would feel... Aren't you representing the downfall of men? The downfall of <laughs> traditional masculinity? Yeah. Well, I think real it's... women want real men. Real women know that real men can wear dresses. A, real, a man in a dress is not going to protect you. Um, <clears throat> a man in a dress is much more equipped to protect you. You want to be infantilised and too effeminate. Do you think that wearing a dress makes you infantilized and inf- effeminate and ineffective? <laughs> I didn't say ineffective. Well, it's what you're implying. Well, feminine in a combat situation, wearing a dress is no hindrance at all. <laughs> well, women should are the are the more feminine caretakers, and a man should be out there protecting and earning and being the stronger one. That's I think that's quite an outdated concept. Do you think men are just become mushy, weak little saps? I think some men always were like that. They just cry all the time. <laughs> some men have always been like that. And expect women to look after them. So you can't have it both ways. The sappy ones want the women. Women, to do women have looked after men since the beginning of time. Even in like the in a situation where the man is the bringing home the bacon and being the breadwinner. Yeah, at even least he was bringing home the bacon. As opposed to what taking the bacon away from home. <laughs> <laughs> well, you said it like at least it was bringing home the bacon. <laughs> so, yeah, instead of taking it somewhere else. <laughs> What's the? I don't understand what your point is here. What are you saying? It's not a. It's not a, a good. Form. You needed the man and the woman for a harmonious. <laughs> you need the man and the woman <laughs> to be harmonious <laughs> and provide their children with both types of. Uh, Role models in their life. I'm sorry, sir. You you have an outdated concept of what family is and what it means. But I don't know. I can't remember what else I say. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine saying that in a music interview. Don't you think that the men should be bringing home the bacon? <laughs> 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 it's bringing home the bacon. <laughs> <laughs> That's the stupidest thing I've ever heard. That, you've all become all mushy and you're crying all the time. Well, you should be ashamed of yourself for wearing cat suits. You'll never be able to do it. <laughs> you're not going to bring home the bacon. <laughs> I, said, I haven't done a downfall. You're downfalling yourself all the way through this. I'm trying my best. You want downfall They're me. not my natural views, so. Downfall me. You've downfalled mostly around the relationship side. Yeah, that's definitely my uh, <coughs> weak spot. Um, um, you punched a, some a reporter in the face. Why? <laughs> um, well, he was being a prick, and I'm really tired of. Uh, I decided that the only way to really emphasise. I got a new question. Go on. Do you think climate change is real? Um. Do what? <laughs> Do you think climate change is real, or is it just being used by the elites to control corporations? I think climate change is observable and real and obvious to everybody that's sane. Isn't that just papers released by people on the left to try and control their own agenda? <laughs> Why would they? They're trying to control their own. If they can't control They're their own to control agenda, what the fuck more. can they control? They're trying to control cor- corporations more. Right. But all these taxes and limitations, and actually all these taxes. <laughs> 
Well, maybe yeah, the papers yeah. show that it's a natural change in the climate. Can you please give me one example of um, a climate change measure that you think should be repealed on account of it being ineffective and gone, just anything like that? I don't think that we're releasing as many harmful gases into the world that's affecting the rise in temperature. So think. are you suggesting that we should release more of them then? What about the Ice Age ages ago? When, how did that happen? Why did those ice caps melt? Because of all the fuel, there was none. When was that again? Like, I don't know, 200 years ago. The last ice ago. age is, is when um, the North Sea formed and it was a glacier that sort of carved its way th- uh, between England and Holland and down through France, right? That's that's why that, that's what you're talking about. Yeah, now. but why did it melt? Um, it melted because um, aliens came with... Uh, <laughs> Downfall! <laughs> Downfall! Oh no! <laughs> Downfall. You've gone into the conspiratorial realm. I know. Downfall. I quite like it in there though. So I caught you on climate change. Yeah. Sorry to everyone who is offended and triggered by my terrible probing. Well, I mean, downfall is... I mean, even I... It's difficult because some people watching this channel... Funny thing is, I well, really prefer to have not know your political views. Yeah. So saying all this stuff might alienate some of the channel. Yeah, but they're not political views. I don't see them as political views. I don't think that's established. I mean, I think all politicians are c-ts. every single f-ing one of them, top to bottom. I don't care who. Someone got offended by that actually the other day on your channel. Don't care. I actually don't care. I really don't care. Look at those f-ing pricks. Anyone who aspires to be a politician is either a f-ing dumbass or crooked. Well, we need someone. What? We need somebody. Or oh, we need a new system. At the risk of oh. sound. Oh, damn fault. Sound like someone else. Yeah. Yeah. All right, try again. Go again. What? Well, let's, let's get to the bottom of this. And so, mm-hmm. I don't think I'm that political anyway. I just, th- I just think it's like, I don't understand how anybody can look at an old person sitting in their house dying because they've been let down by their, the people that are supposed someone to protect them. Someone has to go into politics in order to do the changes though, right? What changes? Well, either someone has to be the there's always going to have to be a politician. I just don't understand how having a humane perspective on on the welfare of an elderly person makes you politically controversial. There shouldn't be any controversy. There are some politicians, but you just don't know who they are, probably. Who are they? I don't know. They're all the regional people. Yeah, I know. I know. But we need some. They we need to encourage good people to go in. Well, we need to pay them more. And then they don't get all crooked and start doing deals with businesses. They just don't get paid enough, so it's not attractive to the best people. This is what I always say, like, politicians are never the best people. But do you think it would then just attract people who want money and not doing it for the right reasons? I don't care if they want money. They sh- if they do a good job, they n- then they deserve the money. Do you think they need to pass a test? Well, I think they need to pass all sorts of tests, yeah. Because, how do you know they're good? Because sometimes the Ministry of Education, next year, Ministry of Health. But I thought he was mass. How is he such an expert in both? <laughs> Brilliantly timed inside Burt, by the way. <laughs> it was a gargle. <laughs> you know what I mean? It. it should be someone who's a specialist in education as the Minister for Education. Not the person who was doing health last year. Yeah, they're always the same cocks, aren't they? It's just a rotating tombola of f-ing ass clownery. Oh, no! Downfall! This is what I mean, though. I don't think they're our best people. I think the best people go into like being hedge fund managers and stuff like that. The people who actually got talent and understand <coughs> economics. They're not in they're not in politics. Yeah. And if you understand That's economics, you'd be able to you'd actually be able to like before you even think about like, oh, how are we gonna help the the people who are struggling, the vulnerable sections of our population? Well, get your fing finances sorted out and it wouldn't be as much of an issue. Don't have all these fing clowns. Don't don't have the clowns. Get rid of the clowns. Let's get the real people. The real people. Downfall? Yeah. No. No. Okay. I mean, that's not. I'm not asking for a change of system per se. I just think we should pay them more money so that the good people want to do the job. Right. And they have to pass some sort of test, and not just doing it for the money. They have to be. They have to earn the money. Justin <laughs> Hawkins rides again. <laughs> Another inside book. In the middle of my thing, I just said, "Ow."
Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the bell for notifications. Watch one of these two videos. Downfall! Bye. Say goodbye, Jenny. Bye. Thank you so much for watching uh, Justin Hawkins Rise Again, the podcast. Um, please, let's continue this conversation in the comments. Do you think I passed the test or am I cancellation fodder? Am I next up on the chopping block? Is it over for me? I mean, who cares at the end of the day? But yeah, I mean, let me know how I did. Um, and I'll see you next Monday for another long form discussion. This is fun, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, in the meantime, see you later and adieu, merci bien, and see you on the ice. Cheers. Okay.